We had a question about GRE math. Here's our video response. Okay, so here's a quick video response to a question someone had about decimals. So it was in that percentage problem we did. They just wanted me to talk a little bit more about it. So let's just do that really quickly. So first, I know it's really, I mean, it's probably been a while, so you might be a little bit rusty. But let's take numbers like this. Okay, just a basic idea. When you're multiplying by decimals, really what it is is you're multiplying the numbers themselves, right? So in this case, this would be something like, and then if you just multiply the sucker out, right? And then really what you want to do at the end is all you're counting is the number of decimal places. So since here I have two decimal places, I need two here. So 42.25. Okay, let's try one more time. How about with this? So if I'm doing 0.95 times 0.95, what I'm really thinking is 95 times 95. So that's something like this guy, I think. Okay, so no big deal. And now I count the number of decimal places. So since I have one, two, three, four decimal places here, I count one, two, three, four. So it must be right there. Okay, so just simple manipulation with this stuff. Um, nothing that big going on. Okay, the I guess the conceptual basis behind this is that when you're multiplying these numbers, for example, 65 times 0.65, you can kind of think of it like this: 65 over 1 times. So what is 0.65? That means 65 over 100, right? So what you're really doing is you're multiplying 65 times 65, which really is. 42.25, right? Something like that. But then for the numerators, but the denominator is 1 times 100. So it's still dividing by 100, and that moves you two decimal places. So we get this setup, right? If you look at this, same thing. So this is really 95 over 100 for 0.95, right? Times 95 over 100, right? Because each decimal place is a power of 10 on bottom. So now we get something like this. You see what we've done? Same thing. We multiply 95 times 90. Sorry. 95 times 95, that's this thing, to get 9025, right? And then what we did with the bottom was we multiplied 100 times 100 to get 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? Something like that. But again, count it. 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal places, 4 decimal places here. So same thing. Each zero represents a decimal place. So 1, 2 decimal places here, and 2 here give me a total of 1, 2, 3, 4. So this is kind of how it works. Okay. Obviously, you don't need to do this every time, but it's showing you that these two ideas are one and the same. So, then, um, then I think there's also a question. So we can take this a step further and do it with division. So, division in the GRE is never going to be like long school division. Instead, they're going to have little tricks like this, like maybe like, I don't know, 0.45 over 0.090. Okay. Well, first, this extra zero we can drop, right? Because he's just a placeholder, so we don't have to worry about that. Okay. So if I wanted to handle manipulation like this, first let's go back to the basics. If you had a number like say 2, 2 over 1, nobody would disagree. You can multiply the top and bottom by say 2, right? Because multiplying by 2 over 2 is the same thing as multiplying by 1. And you know when you multiply by 1, you don't change the number. So you're not to multiply the numerator and the denominator by the same number and you don't change anything. So 2 over 1 is the same as 4 over 2. Okay, so no big deal. We're going to use this idea, but we're going to do it over here. So, does everybody agree? First, if I multiply the top and bottom by 10, so taking this guy and multiply by 10 up top and 10 on bottom, this is 1, so I literally would not be changing this number, right? And every time you multiply by 10, the rule of thumb is you're moving that decimal one place to the right, okay? It's easy to see with an example like this, if you forget, 0.1 times 10 should make 0.1 bigger, bigger than 0.1 is 1. Right? And so it wouldn't make sense to say 0.1 times 10 is 0.01, because now you're taking some guy, multiplying by 10 and making him smaller, that makes no sense. This is just if you're in a hurry and it's been a while, and you forget which way multiplication moves that decimal point. Okay? So back over to this. So let's move this guy. So if I multiply by 10 top and bottom, then I'll move this guy one over to the right, and one over to the right. So now we have something like 4.5 over what? 0.9. Again, if I didn't like the decimal point, I can multiply top and bottom by 10 again. So drag him over 1, drag him over 1, and now you literally have 45 over 9, and that should be 5. So nothing too heavy. This is if you have any questions, just email me at swartwoodprep at gmail.com. Just address it to Danielle on YouTube.